Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my classic dashboard layout planner. I am planning for the week of October 18th through the 24th. Originally, I was not planning on doing a voiceover for this spread, but um, I don't know. After filming it, it was like 30 minutes long and it was all over the place, so I decided to speed up this video and do a voiceover. So this is my spread. I already went through and whited things out, stuck sticker paper over the shaded parts. So I wanted to do something different. So here I'm showing you stickers that I um, created on Cricut Design Space. These are not stickers that I created myself. Those were images from Cricut Access. These right here that I'm showing you now are stickers that I actually designed myself and printed out myself. This is just from Cricut Access, the one that I'm showing you right now. Um, so those are the stickers that I'm using. I also am planning on maybe pulling in some stickers from some Happy Planner books that I pulled out, um, and they're over to the side. So originally, my thought process was to go around the edges of the spread with the, like, pumpkin and leaf icons and kind of do what Kelva Plan did this past week if you watched her, um, plan with me. But when it came down to it... Um, I ended up doing something completely different. So I'm just placing this pumpkin down over in the corner because at this point I was still planning on going all around, but then I decided not to do that. So I'm whiting that quote out down at the bottom just because I never keep those quotes. I'm putting this tiny box sticker. This is, again, one that I designed myself. Um, and just put it up at the top and then I'm taking this other colored one and placing at the top to mark on the left that that's my social media and then the one that's like that creamy color is just a running to do. So now I'm just trying to figure out kind of what I want to do. I decided that I want to place stickers up the center which I love 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 doing this. I do it I don't know I used to do it like all the time or it felt like all the time but I just think it adds such a cute touch to the spread um and just it's an easy way to add decor if you like having a lot of decor in your spreads but also um have you know still all that space for super functional planning so i'm just kind of um going between the pumpkins and then the different color leaves my kittens keep jumping um in front of the camera they were going crazy during this video so that's another reason why i decided to do this voiceover um these quote stickers printed out wrong they were supposed to be one big sticker and then when it cut it cut it kind of like vinyl so i ended up not being able to use those quote stickers over here i'm placing that box sticker there for my meal plan um i'm not really sure how much meal planning i'm going to do this week because my husband is out of town for um training for work so I'm kind of on my own for dinner and I'm not really planning on making a whole lot of meals. I bought like a bunch of already like pre-made soups that I can just throw in the microwave. I bought a burrito that I can just throw in the microwave and then I was going to make chicken gnocchi soup which will probably last me like a few days because I'm on my own. And then Wednesday I have plans. Um to go eat dinner with some friends so i don't really think i'm going to be using that section for really much of anything but i still just put the box there and can just write in my meals so since i couldn't use those quote stickers i decided to cut that big box sticker and use the side of it that says all the fall vibes as my quote sticker and also tie in um this like striped box sticker. Originally I was only planning on using this like cream color with the maroon color um, leaves, but I decided that I would tie in more colors just because I needed a quote sticker and kind of just needed some more stuff to fill in this space. So down at the bottom, I decided that I was going to add um, some stickers just down there to add more decoration so it wasn't so much white space um towards the end of the video i end up picking up that um clear um 
the cream colored pumpkin. Um, a little bit back when I was showing you the sticker paper, I was just talking about how I don't like this sticker paper. It is the Avery sticker paper. I'm not a huge fan of it. The back is like perforated, so it like peels off in sections. It's really weird. I would not recommend the sticker paper. I have different sticker paper coming. I ordered some off of Amazon, but it has not arrived yet. So since I had all those other colors on the other side in that one box sticker, I decided to take these checklists that had like that blue color and then I take a yellow one and place it in just to um, tie in more of those colors. This week I don't have much going on so there is no real rhyme or reason for why I'm laying down um, the checklist where I am. Normally when I plan I have a reason why I'm laying checklist down on certain days or why I'm laying box stickers down on certain days but this week it was just kind of a free-for-all because I don't really have a ton of plans. Um, normally I use checklist for days that I don't have like a lot going on because I can write a list of like house stuff that I need to get done and then on days where I use boxes normally that is like days that I have like doctor's appointments or I'm nannying or I'm doing something like that I can just like you know write in the box instead of using a checklist because normally on days that I'm like nannying or have a doctor's appointment I'm not doing um other things like housework so I don't need a checklist so right now I'm struggling to find a sticker to place on my social media section because I realized I don't have a checklist or anything there it's just blank so I end up tying in this gold color um, with these asterisks, I don't really think I'm going to have a ton of things to plan for social media, so I only place three of them down, and then I wanted to tie the gold in on the other side, so I just put that exclamation point right there to mark um, that my husband was leaving, and that also I had to nanny. Um, on Wednesday, I put that coffee cup down because I have to nanny and I have to be up super early that morning. So I just placed it there to mark, you know, I'm going to be tired. I'm going to need coffee. Um, I also put another one down to mark um, my trash day. And then I'm just tying in some leaves to decorate. Just to add some more decoration. I'm adding a pumpkin down at the bottom. I kind of go crazy with decorating with these pumpkin and leaf stickers. I don't know. I thought they were super cute. And I don't know. This spread is definitely, I don't know. It's like different kind of. I don't know. At the end, I didn't know how to feel about it. I kind of do like it. And I think once I add, you know, my writing into it and I start writing down my plans and stuff like that, I'll like it more. It's just, I think... I don't know something about it I'm just like not a huge fan of right now but I feel like once I like write in it and add my plans it's all gonna come together so I'm just adding some more box stickers to even out the spread so I'm just layering it because I did that on Monday and then on Sunday I'm just adding a box sticker because I have two checklists then I have the bullet points the layered boxes so I just decided to place a lone box sticker and then the left side was kind of feeling like there was a lot of white space there, so I added that box sticker just to kind of mark anything important that I have to mark, and I was looking for a header, and I was kind of having a hard time finding one. I go with this yellow noted sticker. Um, I think it ties in well with the um, stripes and the checklist on the right side of the spread. And then here, I was just, this is I think when I pulled up that pumpkin sticker, I couldn't decide, I didn't like how it was next to the red pumpkin sticker, so I am trying to find a different sticker to place there, and then I end up adding those, like, decorative stickers all across the spread because I didn't like how it stopped right there in the middle, um, I ended up going across, and then I just add in a bunch more decorative stickers all over the spread. Like I said earlier, I go kind of crazy with all the decorative, um, like leaves and pumpkins but I definitely think this is a it screams fall like it screams fall and I love it it's finally feeling like fall here today it was 
like 50 degrees and raining so I pulled out my fuzzy cabin socks my leggings and an oversized sweatshirt and I was thriving we haven't turned on our heat yet because it's still um we still have like a bunch of nice days coming up but we did turn on the space heaters last night and this morning and yeah I'm feeling fall so I'm just trimming the stickers and yeah this is pretty much the rest of the spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this spread. Like I said, I'm still kind of like on edge um, of how I feel about it, but I will see you guys in another one of my videos and yeah.